Hello, and welcome back to the farm. I hope everyone's doing well. So, since my last video, a week's passed, um, and quite a lot has happened. So the the silage bales that I did, they're just sitting in the field fermenting. That's probably going to be today's job. We're going to pick them up. I'm going to store them off. Uh, the hay, I've picked that up, I've baled it, and that's put on a trailer. So I've done that. So the truck, that's still with Vernon. Um, he's had that now for a week. I think he told me that um, he's still waiting for an, a fuel filter. I think he's got all the other parts for the service, but he's waiting for a fuel filter. Because it's so old, it's just taking a, a bit of time to come. But he should be done now. He's told me that, uh, what, two days ago he said that it'll be done today. So I'm going to pop up today and see if he's finished it off. So I've got £9,000, uh, my money's gone down, I did have 28000 after we took that last silage uh, trailers to the PGA, but I've purchased a few things, so the first thing is obviously I've got a shed now, so the guys came that put the shed up before over there, and they obviously put the same one up, and it cost me 80000 which I thought was a good deal, and uh, they put it up really quick, it's, it's one of them easy sheds that just kind of plonks up and also you can take it down, so if I ever need to move it, I can always move it. Um, if I get the guys in again, they can move it at a cost, obviously, but it's just um, you know a nice, easy shed put up, does the job, just what we need, storing some bales. So the trailer that I've got now in front of me, obviously, if you've noticed, is quite different to my last trailer. That's because the trailer that I had before, I started to have some problems with the hoses uh, a few days back, so I had to take it in to the dealership, see if they could sort it out. The cost that they told me to get the hoses repaired on it, it was quite a bit of money and I thought I may as well sell it as it is and then just purchase a really old second hand one. I mean this is probably third hand, fourth hand, it's got holes in it and everything but it does the job for what I need and I've actually made a little bit of money. It was only like £500 difference from selling the trailer that was broken and getting this one in return. Um, but this, at least this one's working and, and it's done the job and I've, as you've noticed I've put the hay bales on there so that's going to be another job today to take them off and store them in the shed and then get the silage bales and put them probably over in the pit on the side. If, if they can't all fit there, we'll put some in this shed here. But I do want the straw to go in here when we harvest off the oats. Uh, but overall, it's been good. I mean, I've tried to be a bit more positive these last few days since I found out my tractor was on fire. You know, and that's that's down the swan now, let's be honest. Um, so, yeah, I've tried to, tried to be a bit more upbeat about things. And it's been actually a good few days. This last week's gone well. Um, I've done quite a bit of work. The cows are happy. Field field works, you know, it's going well. So things are looking better. So I also decided to get myself another upgrade for the farm. Um, I got a different windrow. Sold the other windrow. Got a few thousand for that. And then I had to buy this. This was £9,000. Second hand, but it's actually in really good condition. I washed it off and it was, I was surprised how good a condition it was. There was hardly any scruffs on it. But it's just bigger and it's better. It's really good for what we need. Uh, so yeah, that cost a little bit as well. But I did have 28,000. Like I said, I spent 8,000 on the shed and then I spent 9,000 on the windrow. I got a few thousand pound back from uh, the old windrow. So we aren't doing too bad. A few things have gone out, uh, but we're doing all right for money. Um, I'm also insurance company, the 4,500 for the uh, tractor that obviously got destroyed. That's coming through probably today, tomorrow, sometime very soon. So that's another 4,000 odd that can go in the bank account. So I've also been cleaning off some of the equipment uh, with the jet wash. So a lot of it's like looking really cl clean. I cleaned out the baler, cleaned out the hay after I did that as well and, the, and obviously the grass from when I first did the silage. Give that a jet wash but I also jet washed the sprayer. So this is the cleanest I've seen it. You can see all the rust now on the frame. But, I mean, it's still a lot cleaner than what it was. So that's good as well. The oats are looking good. They're really close now. I mean, probably the start of autumn time, which we're very close to, they'll be they'll be done. And that's not too bad. The only one negative that I found recently on the farm is, after all that rain, this silo on the left-hand side, we've, had, we've got a problem with it. You'd think it'd be the right one with it tipping. But... Because you can see the, the right silo is just leaning just because it's so old. Uh, but the left one's actually got a really big hole on the top. But it just means that we can't obviously store any grain in there. We should be alright. I mean, because we've, we've luckily only done one type of grain. 
the oats. We can store all the oats in here, but if we had two types of grain, we will, obviously we can't mix the grain. Um, so it just mean that, you know, um, we'd probably have to sell one straight off from harvesting, which is what we're going to do with the corn up at Earl's anyway. Um, that reminds me, Earl actually did text me today saying he's got a surprise for me, so um, I don't know what that is, but we'll go up and have a look at that today and see what, see what surprise he's got. Um, and obviously I also want to go to Vernon's um, to see if my truck's done and have a look at what and how, and how, and how she's looking. Hopefully she's uh, purring away with that V8 engine. Right, so having said that, there's a lot to do today. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the dealership and I'm going to try and sell this truck. The reason for that is I don't need two trucks. There's no point. This is pretty much battered. It's really old. It's had a lot of mileage on it. Um, I'd be surprised if I get 500 for it, to be honest. But I think if we sell this, um, and then I can walk back to Vernon's from the dealership, which is not too far, uh, and then we can drive a truck home. Or we might go pop round hills on the way back and then come back and do the jobs around the farm. It has been a good truck though, since I bought the farm, you know, it came with it. The guy that I bought the farm off originally, when it was just pretty much a wooden shack and a few sheds and a lot of trees. Um, you know, he's obviously used it a lot and we took it off his hands with the farm, but yeah, it's, it's just had its day. You know, it's time to replace it and I think now that we've obviously put the work, money and obviously the time into the Chevy, I think that's going to be a lot better so I'll just speak to him quickly and we'll see how much they offer us right so I got 930 pound for that to be honest I'm quite happy with that um, that obviously makes a lot of difference um, I, I was expecting about 500 so I'll take that I'll take that that's not too bad right so we best just uh, take a slow stroll down to Vernon's then I'm hoping the truck's ready if not we've got a big walk after that But I won't film the whole way, um, I'll turn the camera off, save the battery, and I'll cut back in when we're there. That was a nice walk actually, it only took me about 20 minutes, so that's not too bad from the dealership. Um, I can't see me, oh I can't, it's just behind these trees. There she is. I'm hoping that means it's done. Oh look at these signs he's put up. That's, I think that's a really good idea. Now we can actually see how much he wants for her. And you know what? Some of these are priced really well. I think when he was initially trying to get that what crazy sum that he said, I think he thought I was just someone that didn't have a clue. But now he realises that, um, you know, I live local, that I've, I've got my own farm. He obviously thinks, yep, yeah, can't swindle this guy. Well, actually, these surprise, these prices are pretty fair. I mean, what's this? This is the fence that I wanted. 515C. 195 brake horsepower, which is pretty good. Um, 11,000 hours on the clock. 24,000. That's probably about right. That's probably about right. And then you can see this Massey, because it's obviously got less brake horsepower and more hours on the clock. It's 7,500. But I'm confused, because I thought you said someone from the city was buying this. So... Don't know why I'd put a sign up, we'll have to ask him. And then he's got this Agristar, that's 190. I mean, when we do need a tractor soon, when we get the money, I'm definitely going to buy one, that's a definite fact. Um, the biggest piece of kit I have on my farm is the plow, which is 150 brake horsepower requirement. So, the new Holland that I've got at home, that's 150 brake horsepower, so that just pulls it. Like, before when I had the Belarus, before, obviously... It got destroyed. Um, that had about 175, I think. Um, so it, it was the one that I used to do the plowing with, mainly the field work in. Whereas now I'd have to use the, the new Holland and it'll just pull it, you know. So we haven't got a problem there. This must be new. It must have had another Fenton. 
So he must be still working on that. I think he must be still working on that because that's new. So that's the Fiat. And he wants 10,500 for that. 140 brake horsepower. That's not too bad. Ooh, that's a bit steep. I think that's why. It's not had much use, but obviously, and it's quite vintage. I don't think that's in our price range, to be honest. And even if it was, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think it'd suit. I want a little bit more modern. I think the fence is standing out to me. I like the fence a lot. So this must be the farmer one that he's got over there. That's a lot. Yeah, this is a smaller engine. So he's 115 brake horsepower. 13,000 hours on the clock and 13,000. See, that's a good price for that. You know, if I had the money, I'd probably get the smaller fence and the, and the bigger fence. Definitely need some of these. I'm, getting, I'm running low on these. Um... I don't know if he's selling these canisters, I might ask him. I could pick some up now and put it in the back of the truck if it's ready. Mm. But yeah, I like this stuff. I mean, if I was going to buy one now, if I had the money... I mean, it's an odd choice, but I, I mean, I like the idea that this is only 7.5, but I'm sure he sold that. I don't really think... I mean, I've already got a new one. They are good machines. 17,000, 19,000 hours. It is a difficult choice of what he's got. I mean, I feel like they're all fair prices. And I like what he's offering. Hmm. I mean, I'd say the Agrostar, just because the front wheels on this, they turn really strange. Uh, the, it's like the axle moves with it. So I'd have to... I'd have to say, if I was going to go for an 190 out of these two, I'd probably go with this one, and it's cheaper. It's had less hours, so you're obviously paying more for the name there, with it being New Holland. But I think the one that stands out for me the most is this one. I mean, it's 195 brake horsepower. Yes, it's a lot more money. But they are good machines, and it's, it looks like it's nimble and powerful. It's got a front PTO, which none of these have got. So that'll add to the price. Yeah, the fence are the only ones with the front PTO. I'll be honest, if I could get both these fence, I would. I really would. The slurry tankers, so what's this one? 16,000 litre capacity, 8,000. See, that's a good price. And that's 5,000 for 8,000 litres. I mean, they are used, don't get me wrong, but if they work, and I'm sure they work, you wouldn't be selling if they didn't. Um, see, there's, there's some good options there. Anyway, it's getting too confusing me looking at all these. We came here just to get my truck. Let's go speak to Vernon. Afternoon, Vernon. Everything alright? Yeah, all good, Scroft. How about you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How's she been keeping for the last week? Um, did you finally get the parts? And Is everything sorted? Yeah, everything sorted. Delivery times, that's the problem. Living this far out in the middle of nowhere takes ages to get anything. Shocking. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Then again though, I did buy some CCTV not long ago, and it only took a day. Um, so, yeah, maybe it's just whoever delivered it. Maybe. Anyway, appreciate that, Vernon. Thanks a lot for your help with the truck. Um, have you got my keys? Yep, they're here. There you go. Thanks, mate. I've also just been looking at your signs. I think that's a really good idea that you've put them up, and I'm actually really surprised. Some good deals there. I like, I like what you're offering. Um, I'm really interested, actually. Like I said before, as soon as I've got some money, and it's probably going to be when I've harvested, I've got a few oat fields um, that I'm going to harvest and I've also got a cornfield that I'm doing with a friend um, as soon as all that's come in I could probably look at maybe getting one of these tractors so hopefully you've still got them at that time I do like your slurry tankers as well though I'm going to I'm not going to lie and I really do need one of them soon especially for next year when I need to do some spreading I mean my tanks are only filling up slow at the moment because I've only got nine cows but I'm definitely going to need one soon yeah, well, they're here, they're here for sale. If you need one, just come speak to me. You know where I am. Yeah, will do, Vernon. Thanks again, mate. See you later. Bye. I'm tempted to try and put a reserve maybe on this. Then again, I don't know if I should. I'm committing to it then, aren't I? And if I don't get the money, it's not the best idea. Hmm. 
do like it though. It just stands out for me that Fent does. It really does. Anyway, we'll get back. That sounds much better. Much better. Nicely done. He's done a good job there. And it was a bit steep, I'm not going to lie. A £1,000 for what he did. But then again, he did have to come out, fix it. Um, and it's not the easiest truck to repair. It's quite old. So the parts, you know, there's not as many parts going for it. If I had a Ford truck or something modern, it would probably be a lot cheaper and a lot easier to repair. look at try and get a, a new paint job for it that'll cost a couple of thousand say the least I think we'll take the shortcut to Earls wonder what surprise has got for me I mean I'm not expecting anything big obviously because I don't know what he would have. That corn's looking good. Coming along just nice, that is. Really. I think he'll be surprised to see the truck. We'll knock on and see what he'll think of the truck. <coughs> Afternoon, Earl. Everything alright? Yeah, good thanks, Scroft. How about you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. Um, yeah, everything's been going really nice this past week. All the crops are looking good. I've just seen your corn. That's looking good, too. Have you seen my truck? Oh, yeah. Wow. You got her back up and running, then? Yeah, um, I actually got help from a guy called Vernon. He doesn't live too far away from here, just down from the dealership. Um, he helped me out. He came over to the farm and repaired it. Couldn't get it starting. I tried everything, I'll be honest, and I also got some spare parts. We've replaced the suspension, brake discs, brake pads. It's got a new battery, it's just had a full service. He sorted the engine out, so whatever problem he had, I mean, he, I'll be honest, he didn't explain to me. He said I wouldn't understand, so... But I'm, the main thing is back up and running, and I actually really like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, she looks really good. I'm glad you got her back up and running. I'm, I'm glad it's worked out for you. Yeah, thanks, Earl. I'm glad I got that off you in the end. Anyway, so what's this surprise then? Go into the yard and you won't miss it. I'm surprised you didn't see it. Which way did you come from? Oh, I took the um, route just from where the sawmill is. I kind of took a shortcut because I was at Vernon's. Yeah, he's alright that Vernon is. He's helped me a few times in the past. He's a bit weird, but he's alright. Yeah, he is a bit weird, but he is alright. You're right. Alright, and I'll, I'll go and have a look. Um... And I'll come back in a bit. Well, he seemed pretty happy about the truck being back up and running. I mean, I think he likes that kind of stuff, though. He obviously repairs them tractors. Whoa. That's got to be what he's on about. Look at that. Is he expecting me to drive that and use that? It's massive. The John Deere... 2266. It's got a corn header on. Wow. So this is what we'll be using then. You must have leased it out. What's this button do? Ooh. I'm probably going to have to familiarise myself with this. Alright, well at least I've learnt that bit. She is nice. That's going to do that job really quick. We're going to mince through it. I don't want to ask him how much it cost him to lease that out, but it's got to have cost quite a bit. But at least we've got the equipment now. He's still got the spreader, so I don't know if he intends on us doing that, so we'll have to find out. I'll ask him. Wow, Earl, that's a fair piece of kit. I'm guessing that's what we're going to be using for the corn. Yep, that's what I got it for. I leased it out just for that. Give me a shout if you need me to do anything, like I said, if there's any more fertilising you want me to do, or if you think the crop's ready, give me a shout, I'll come straight up and we'll crack on with it. But I really have to go, I've got a lot of work to do on the farm, um, and I've been away for a few hours now, so I just want to get back and make sure everything's alright. 
See you later, Rail. See ya. Right, so that's actually worked out really well. We've got the truck back up and running. Earl's got them harvested ready for the corn. Um, I've already done my hay, I've done my silage. Weather's looking good, so I think the plan is to try and get that hay stored up properly, and then we'll do the same with the silage. I think after that, we should be done for the day. Right, we'll just park this up. So that's it, officially we've only got one truck, and this time it's definitely the Chevy. Oh, do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to ask him about getting some Ad Blue for the tractor. Next, I must remember that. I keep forgetting to ask him if uh, we can buy some off him. If not, we can always go to the dealership and buy it there, but I just think because we're there, and he's got a few canisters, it's alright though, we've still got half, over half a tank left of it. Right, so, we'll go and take the trailer out. Oh, that reminds me, um, I also sold the shear grab for the front loader that we were going to use for uh, the silage in the pit, but I kept using the bucket, it just made more sense. So, I sold that and I also bought a proper bale grab so we don't actually tear the bales, because the last thing I want to do is rewrap them or even patch them up. So I decided to get a proper bale grab. Uh, there was no difference in cost really, uh, the, the bale grab was actually cheaper than the shear grab so yeah there was no difference in cost. Right so we'll just take these straps off. Right so what I'm going to do is I'm quickly just going to get out, I'm probably going to stick the drone up somewhere about here and then instead of doing two things behind the wheel I can just concentrate and put these in and the, and the drone can get up there and watch me do it. I think that'll make better viewing for you lot. Right, so we'll crack on with it. Looks good that does. Um, I didn't think they were going to stay at one point. I thought they were going to fall over. I mean, it's the easiest thing to do. They're a bit lopsided, but it'll stay. Um, we'll take them from the top when we need them. We've got quite a few bales there from that one little tiny bit of field. So, right, next job. We're going to go and get the silage bales. So I need to drop off the bale fork first, and then we're going to go and get the bale grab, which is in the field. That's a good place to park the trailer first. And as you can see with the trailer, I'm just putting the camera, there you go. Um, you can see that it's got quite a few holes in, but it's it's fine for what we need. It's, it's, it's alright. Right, so what I'll do is I'll quickly throw the drone up again and we'll get some aerial shots as I do it. Sitting through rock 
that i mean i think i've stacked that pretty nice i mean there's a lot of bales on there i've probably overstacked it by four but you know you may as well give it a try i mean this trailer's got a lot of holes and i'm surprised it all do all but it's doing well so let me just throw this strapping over nicely done Gonna have to take this really slow. I'm gonna just park it up in the pit and then we'll wait for it to ferment. And hopefully, it'll just sit there nicely. So it's looking okay ish so far. There's a little bit of movement.
Yeah, I think that'll be alright. There we go. Let's move this out of the way. Yeah, you can definitely tell I've overfilled it, but it's doing the job. So I'll just keep that there. Um, we'll use this sourdough up first, we'll let this ferment. Uh, it should take a few months at least until we start getting fermented silage. And then, um, you can see it's trying to tip off that side. That'd ah, be alright. If they fall off now, it doesn't matter anyway. But it should be alright. We got them out of the field and that's the main thing. But yeah, we'll leave it there, let it do its job, um, and then we'll come back to it. So that's all the feed done, cows, the cows feed's fine. Um, we can do the straw as soon as the oats, oats is ready. Um, the only problem with the oats is, when we got the straw, I'd like to do TMR, but we can't mix it at all. We've got nothing to mix it with, and it's gonna cost a fortune to get a mixer, a feed mixer, and even though we'll have the hay, some you know some silage and straw be a nice TMR that would but yeah we just can't afford really to go and start buying a mixer especially as we need another tractor anyway I'm gonna switch off now and leave the video there as always thanks for watching and I'll see you next time see ya